Hi everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to cover about it. SaaS tutorial from end to end. In this particular tutorial, especially we are trying to create a short videos. All are 10 to 15 minutes videos, but it is uh, this particular class is mainly for uh, point shoots, I can say. So that means um, each and every 10 minutes of a video will be fully covered or fully loaded with the topic. By watching this particular 10 minutes, you will be able to understand the concepts. You take any concept when I'm speaking about it, within a 10 to 15 minutes, you will be able to get an understanding and very clear cut picture about it. So let's get started with it with my course. I'm going to add a couple of more videos in this particular channel on this particular playlist. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for more interesting updates like this. If you are interested to take a live training with me, please visit our website at greatonlinetraining.com and enroll yourself for a free demo session. In this particular class of today, I'm going to talk about different windows what we have in SaaS. There are five windows in SaaS. I'm going to talk about in detail on that. So let me just open my SaaS software to explain in a better way. So let's get started. Before we go any further, I would like to inform you that there will be a task at the end of the video make sure to watch it and leave your answer in the comment section below here you can see that uh, the SaaS software and there you can just uh, see a different windows like editor window log window output window explorer window and result window so total five fingers in a hand like our five windows in SAS. Each window have some significance. By using editor window, we can write the program, we can save the program, we can submit any programs in the editor. Log window is the proof of your programs, whatever you have executed right or wrong will be displayed in the log window. Output window is used to display all the outputs what you have generated you can able to see in the output window. When coming to the explorer window is the place where you can store outputs in the form of SAS data sets for a future reference will store this. And result window it will show all the results what you have used in SAS software from starting onwards until now all will be appear in this particular window. So this is all about five windows in SAS, like our five fingers in a hand. Editor window, writing the program, log window of checking of errors and warning messages. Output window is mainly for displaying all the outputs what you have generated as a programmer. Explorer window to show all the outputs in the form of a SAS data sets. You can store it in your library's location. Result window, it will show all the results of your SAS. This is briefly about the different windows. Imagine I'll try to write a simple program using editor window. Whenever you want to write any program in SAS, you must start with a keyword called data. After that, you need to write your data set name. I'm just writing it as a test semicolon. I'm just writing it. Here semicolon is the statement is used to create a, a statement terminator. Generally, we write a full stop, full stop, how we call it as a, uh, a statement, uh, maybe sentence terminator. When you write a full stop, that particular sentence is completed there is the same way. Even in SAS also, whenever there is a semicolon, that particular piece of line or that statement is completed. In the next line, I can write a statement called input or by using input statement. I'm just specifying my uh, column names i'm just writing my column names like input uh, so i'm writing my column names as a patient id age of the patient and sex i'm just writing it sex i need to give a dollar sign because it's a character data i'll try to give it so then followed by the card statement you can write a cards or else you can write a data lines so both also we can use it uh, to just uh you can use it either cards or data lines and give the data here then patient id 100 age of the patient will be let's say 28 years and sex of the person is male another one is 200 40 or maybe female another one is 300 
Just imagine, maybe 78 years, a female. Give the semicolon at last. Don't give the semicolon in the sixth line. Just give an end statement called run. So proc means, see, I have just I have just written my program until run. What I can do is I can select this piece of code and then I can just click on submit. Once you click on it, you see that there is a, a running boy symbol. You can see it here right now. You can click on that so that the program will be get submitted or else you can use F3 button from your keyboard. And one more way is you can just search here and type submit and then you can enter it. Either of these ways to just use it to execute your program. I just done with executing my program. As I said earlier, when the program is written, is there any errors or warnings? You can just looking into the log. Log not showing anything. Everything what I have written is just a blue and black. So what you need to understand is in SAS, there are four messages, mainly SAS log window. There are four messages you can see the black, blue, and as well as red and green. So first of all, what is this black color and what is this blue color? The black color, nothing but your source of your program, whatever the program you have written in editor window, that will be appear on your black color uh, message. And the blue color is going to be notes. It is trying to tell me where this particular data set of my test is got saved, how many rows, that means observations are called rows according to the SAS terminology, how many rows are there and how many columns are there in the data, you will get it. Apart from that, how much time it took to execute my SAS program and all, you can get this message. So log message is trying to give source and notes messages it will try to give by default. Imagine, is there anything error you have done? So let's say while I'm writing a program, I'm just writing it as a proc means it's a procedure. Print means I'm just printing it. Data equal to your data set name. Test I'm just semicolon and writing a run statement. When you do it, if the program is right, automatically I'll get an output window. But the program is just imagine I try doing a mistake. I try forgetting the semicolon here. Actually, the semicolon need to be there, but somehow I have not given it. So in this case, when you try to execute this piece of code is enough. You don't need to ex uh, execute from starting to ending. I just need to execute this piece of code. Once you execute it and run it, I just done. Even though you execute, you're not getting output. Log is trying to give me an error message saying it. It's in a syntax error. There is a one more color. It just get displayed in your log. So that is going to be a red color. That is going to be your error. Sometimes we see some error this is your errors right so you have forget to write a semicolon that's the reason why you are getting an error imagine instead of data lines i have written the spelling as a data line or something like that when you execute data and run the program now so i'm just running it now i just done that i'm getting output in output window but what happened in the log so log you see that there is a one more message is just appearing here resuming the symbol data lines was misspelled as a data line or something like that so there is a spelling mistake is there. The spelling mistakes and all will appear in the warning. So total four messages you can see in your log. So one is with the, uh, uh, that is your source of your program. Second one is notes of your program and errors and warnings. Everything will be displayed. Imagine we are coming to the editor and I'll fix all these things. Imagine I've written a program until just now up to here. Data onwards up to run statement. We call it as a data step. Once you execute it, don't expect output in output window. Default, once you get executed, the data set will be created. You see that it's not giving any errors and warnings. Everything is looking neat. Go to your explorer window in a library's location. In work library, the data set will be created by default. So the data what you have created just now, it is created with the name of SAS data set. That is your PID, age and sex wise columns are getting created. So this is the data. But as I said earlier, I'm expecting to get the output and output window, but that didn't happen. You're really interested to get the output and output window. We can tell to us as by just mentioning a statement called proc. Proc means it's a procedure. Print means I'm telling my SAS to print it data equal to your data set name. I'm just trying to write it as a test semicolon and run statement. This will allow me see data onwards up to run step is called data step. The data set is already created in work library. You are interested to print the output and output window. 
we use a procedure called proc print uh, this will allow me to printing the program now you see that it is just printing the program and the output as i said earlier editor window is the place where you can write your program you are just writing it uh, and you can save your codes also and you can just go to file click on save as and you can go to your desktop and you can just save that particular program name whatever you are interested let's say i am creating a new folder on my desktop as a, a, a folder name i can just write it as a practice and then within that practice folder i'll just open it i'll just try to write it so this is my first program i have written as a one and i'm just saving it to my desktop so my program of uh, code whatever i have written here till now it is just saved into that location and it is there with me so editor window is used to writing the program saving the program or anything we can communicate with sas with editor once you execute the program is there any errors or warning messages will be displayed in the log and if your program is 100% right then automatically you will get the output in output window apart from that the sas system is the title system date and time like many things we are going to get it by default of your sas whenever you are just generating any output so you are going to get it all this uh, text like a uh, the sas system system date and time and as well as page numbers everything will be displayed by default whenever you execute it if you don't want it there is a customized options also we can write it yeah we can do that so output window is the place where you generally display all the outputs what we want it imagine sometimes you are interested to display this particular data of males and females but i need only females data to be displayed in the where statement in the proc print i can just use a statement called where and then sex column i want it only just a female data only to be displayed in the output i don't need the remaining values at all only female data you are expecting to get it in the output window now you can see it is just displaying only female output basically what you need to understand is output window is the place where you can store your uh, where you can see uh, whenever the programs you are running if the programs are got successfully executed when there is no errors or warning messages output will be displayed in the output window as you already know that in the explorer window is the place where you can store your outputs in the form of sas data sets for a future whenever you run any program in sas you just see data onwards up to run step when you are executing the data set will go and store into work library where this work library you just put your cursor here click on up one level to just go back to a library's location in this you just see there are many uh, Uh, icons you can see libraries file shortcuts favorites and folders and this pc libraries is the place where you can store your all the libraries once you open the libraries and there you in that library work library is the sas default library whenever you run any program in the sas by default it will go and store into work library only you just open it the data set what you have created it will be there with you in the work library but the work library is a temporary library that means imagine i i'll just close my sas and open again the work library containing of this test will be just deleted like that you are expecting to save this particular data set of your test for a future reference instead of deleting it huh? so then you can tell to our data set to saved into a different library like there are other libraries also in the data like sas help and sas user you are interested to store your test data set in sas user i can tell to my sas as a sas user dot test i can write it this will allow me to store my data into your sas user library by default as it's saving in work library as you already know that now let me delete it this one just select it and delete it manually i'm just rerunning the same program one more time you see that even though i executed my program don't expect that particular data set to be created in this particular work library because i'm interested to store my data set in sas user as i have already specified that and i can get that information okay so where it is saving you to just go there and looking into your library's location in sas user the data set which you have created as a tester it is saving into this destination by default it is a work library if you don't want it in the work you can just save it on uh, you can just save it into your sas user or any other libraries if you want it you can just write it there yeah it will work then basically this particular window the purpose is mainly whatever the data sets you are creating by using your program those data sets will be get saved in your sas user library or maybe work library or sas help library it is just for storing of your data sets for a future reference 
Finally, there is a window called result window. It will show all the results of your output. As I just opened my SaaS software now, now onwards, once I executed from the day one, uh, that means starting program onwards and until now, how many outputs I have created, each and every output you can able to see. See, this is your first output and this is going to be your second output and this is going to be third output and this is going to be fourth output. So every output, uh, each and every successful program of your proc print uh, uh, just leading to get uh, a result. So how many outputs we have generated you can easily get to know by using a result window but output window it will always show the latest output what you have generated. So this is all about total five windows in SAS, like our five fingers in a hand, editor window, writing the program, log window, checking of errors, the errors, warnings, notes, source, anything you can get it in the log and output window is used to display your programs, whatever you have written towards that output, whatever you want it to be displayed will be displayed in the output window. Explorer window is the place where you can store your outputs in the form of SAS data sets. So you can just store it into this particular location. If you want it default, it will go and store into work library if you don't want it you can store it into other libraries also by using SAS user or any other library names you can use it and we are coming to the result window it will show all the results whatever you have used uh, as of now whatever the programs you have generated all the results you can able to get it in the result window so with this we done with uh, different windows what we have in SAS we covered okay so now let me just uh, uh, give you the task on this video what you have learned so task for this particular video is this one just go for the next slide what's wrong in the below program I have a data input PID age sex data lines we have uh, uh, all the data lines uh, and semicolon and run proc print data equal to test I have written all this stuff uh, so here and there is a mistake also in this particular program I'm just leaving up to you so that uh, you try figure out the mistake and please try to write it in the comment section below. So try to write in a one, not, it's a, like a one liner that what will be the mistake according to your interest or maybe according to your uh, opinion, what is the mistake uh, in this particular program? Try to answer it. Thank you for watching. Please click on the like if you are interested on this particular video and as well as subscribe for more updates. And if you have any questions or comments, please write it in the comment section. I'll take care. Thank you.